Hey Virgo. Okay, this is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. Okay. All right. I'll start off here with the Law of Attraction Oracle here. And if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would appreciate that. And uh, at the end, if you like it, if you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. Okay. Shortages of time or money are perpetual. And I will read the back here. If you're feeling a shortage of time or money, your best effort would be to focus upon better feeling thoughts and do more things that make you feel good. Your time is a perpetual thing, and even though the clock is ticking the same for everyone, your alignment affects your perception as well as the results that you allow. As you observe the enormous differences in the effort that people apply and the results they achieve, you have to conclude that there is more to the equation of achieving than action alone. Okay. Let's go ahead and use this tarot today. And again, this is for Virgo for this upcoming week. General reading. See what we can get for you guys. And each sign has a power color, by the way. And yours is brown. So if you didn't know, now you know. So far we have air signs water signs and earth signs So you have, like I said, looks like, is it all set? No, you have air, water, earth, signs. Okay, but the signs that stand out the most here is uh, Gemini and Leo. So some of you might have a Gemini around you or Leo or both. Okay, let me just look at the cards here for a minute. Okay. You have a couple kings here and a queen, and um, you, I don't know if this is necessarily a connection connection, but it could be with the Queen of Swords here, and then you have the, the kings. But um, and you also have the Lovers card here, so it looks like there is a looks like some kind of connection here, relationship wise, or could. Doesn't have to be like loving type, but it, some type of connection here. So let's begin here with the Two of Swords. And this shows that is some indecision going on. Um, maybe you have different choices, but it's the need for compromise. As you could be um, overanalyzing a little bit here. It's also a card saying that you're not allowing distractions. Okay. Okay. Um, next is strength.
Yeah, this card um, shows to use the inner strength you have and be compassionate and have patience. Or that you do. If you don't, it's suggesting, you know, that you have compassion. But this can be about forgiveness also. Next is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups here shows um, loving and compassionate and deep psychic insights. It says to trust your intuition here. Have patience also. Represent somebody being very loving also. Like emotional intelligence. Having emotional intelligence. I believe that is you. If it's not you, like if you're saying, oh, that's not really me, then it's somebody that's right around you. Next is the Wheel of the Year, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, this shows positive changes. It's the end of delays. And it can be a lucky break. And a fresh new start. Next is the Seven of Cups. And this says to make a choice. Stop overanalyzing. There's opportunities. And with the Two of Swords over here also, it says stop overanalyzing and maybe you have different choices. And this is telling you to make a choice. Maybe you have, maybe there's uncertainty about something here. That's why you're overanalyzing things. But yeah. Uh, it's also a card that uh, of addictions, so that's just on the side. It could be. Next is a King of Swords. Okay, and with the King of Swords here, this shows. Uh, somebody who's intelligent and well respected somebody who has authority and power it's like somebody who's uh, fully capable of understanding like complex situations a lot of times it represents somebody who's in uni uniform also but somebody who's fair minded Next is the King of Pentacles. And with the King of Pentacles here, it shows being accomplished and being a great success. Somebody who's grounded and responsible. Can even be like a supportive parent or spouse. Might be even a little stubborn also. but accomplished. You know, a couple kings here and queen, so it's, it could also mean that, you know, maybe, um, maybe like, you know, it could be, if it's not you, it could be like father figure around you or somebody that you look up to, uh, like with male energy. It doesn't have to be necessarily a male, but it's like male energy. And over here, the queen could be somebody who could, that could be, could be you or somebody a little bit older than you. You know, that uh, female type energy. But either way, let's see. Next is the lovers. <clears throat> and this represents true love and deep friendships, but it's unions and relationships. And uh, it's about passion. It could also it could say that important decisions need to be made, and if so, to make choices from the heart. Uh, 
the next karma, which is judgment on other cards. And it's a reviewing past choices. It's uh, about truth and renewal and reaping rewards of uh, past efforts. And it's making wise choices. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to get my tea here, but <clears throat> let me pull one more card here. The Two of Wands. And this is about taking the next steps, putting in effort. Can also indicate like a partnership or collaboration. Okay. All right, you guys. Again, if you don't mind uh, subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And if you liked it, if you want to give it a like and a share. That'd be great. All right. Thanks a lot.